My name is James Mayer, and this is The Photo Breakdown. Photo Breakdown is a podcast where I talk with a photographer sharing the story of a specific photograph, technique, or business win. I'm your host, Scott Weidenkiewicz, and this is Photo Breakdown. Let's break it down. Hello, my name is Scott Weidenkiewicz, your host of Photo Breakdown, and today I'm sitting down with James Mayer to talk about a really great photo that has a, um, a really cool story behind it as well, actually. So, um, but before we dive in, this episode is sponsored by my lead generation course for photographers called More Leads, More Clients. Yes, if you would like to increase the leads you're generating on your photography sites, you can use the strategies I teach in my course. Access it at scottwyden.com slash leads. Hey, James. Hey. <laughs> um, so uh, to those who... Um, are, are are listening to this they don't know that we know each other so we know each other um mm-hmm. <laughs> uh, so we uh we've been we've, we've been talking all day even though it's mm-hmm. now what eight o'clock at night and um we are recording this so this is a lot of fun episode three of of photo breakdown um, oh big time yes yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so i i can't i can't wait till we get to like to the 50 milestone the 100 milestone mm-hmm. it's gonna be cool yeah um, it's, it's- so yeah. Um, so I got two questions for you. Sure. The, the first question, uh, what do you wish you had known 10 years ago? Uh, 10 years ago, mm-hmm. um, I wish I had invested in Bitcoin. Um, I wish I had, <laughs> you know, gotten a little earlier on the, the Twitter train and the, you know, all that stuff. Um, no, you know, uh, what I wish I, um, it's a good question. I wish I had carved out a little bit more time for personal photography 10 years ago probably mm. yeah okay. that was you know i always did a, a decent amount of that but it, it 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 got lost for a few years and just trying to you know make a living and right. so i wish i had you know forced myself a little bit extra time awesome mm. uh now this the second question <laughs> and i think because of who your parents are is going to make this even mm. uh even better a question how would your parents describe what you do for a living um, well, uh, for the people who don't know, my parents are both psychiatrists. Uh, so how would they describe it? Um, you know, I, you know, my, like I'll say from my mother's perspective, my mother would say she under, uh, understands it, but I, I, I don't know if she actually does, you know, she, <laughs> cause she's a psychiatrist. She just has to, you know, be, uh, now, uh, you know, I think they would, uh, I think they would definitely, you know, my mom said that she, uh, you know, of all the careers she could have guessed, um, she would never have guessed this one, but it makes the most sense, uh, based on, you know, uh, my personality. And I always said I would never be a psychiatrist, um, because of how crazy my parents are. But, you know, when you're doing photography, there is a lot of, uh, like, um, I think a little bit of the same, uh, thing that you do in psychiatry when you're doing portraits, when you're trying to diagnose things, when you're trying to tell stories, I think there's actually, um, a a lot more crossover than you might think. So. Uh, yeah, I, I didn't get too far away, actually, I think, from the psychiatry. <laughs> yeah, especially especially with the type of photography that you do. Uh, mm-hmm. I, I think you're spot on that that you're 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 right. In, you're right in that in that zone. <laughs> Definitely. And it is my own form of therapy, too. So, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, all right. So let's break down that photo. Mm-hmm. We are looking at a photo right now. Um, it's a photo of a guy um, with a mask on his chin, right? So we know the Hello time. Kitty. Hello, is it, it looks like a, is it like a Hello Kitty mask or something like that? Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, Some pink. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. Um, we know. So we know the time period. We know that it's during the pandemic, right? It's not pre-pandemic. This is mm. this is at, at, at least mid-pandemic. Um, who is this guy? <laughs> <laughs> so his name's Mango. Or yeah, yeah. Uh, he told I, I, um, yeah. At the top of my head, his real name, but yeah, he, he goes by Mango. And I, you, do you want me to you start for the whole story right now? What do you? Yeah, yeah. Let's, okay, let's, yeah. Let's... So you know, I had been, um, I l- lived down the block from uh, in Brooklyn from um, this uh, really crappy gas station uh, called uh, Speedway. And um, it's funny because one of the people I actually did a portrait for, for from there was just like I was just standing next to. Him, I was watching him on his bike trying to like you know, put the gas in. He's like, man, this is a crappy gas station. Um, 
So, you know, I, I decided a few months ago to do a project on this place, you know, because it's like, um, it's literally the most interesting subsection of people. It's like the real New Yorkers, the longtime people. It's, it's just a fascinating, like, you know, place where all these interesting people kind of congregate at this gas station. So I decided, you know, I'm going to go and I'm just, it's, it's on my way to the subway. So when I go to work, I just take a camera and I leave a little bit early and I photograph and when I have a little extra time, like I'll sit there for 20 minutes and look for interesting people. And so it's just a mixture of candids and po uh, portraits and stuff. Uh, so it's actually turning out pretty interesting. It's a pretty fascinating place. And one of the things I started to notice on my ways to jobs is, um, you know, uh, a few times, uh, I, you know, I'd started to see like bird, you know, just birds eating food, look like rice or, you know, bread or something. And I saw that, like, I started seeing that more and more often. And then a few times I saw the guy, uh, who was feeding them and I was like rushing to a job. I had my camera. So I took a couple quick, like candid street photography shots, um, as I was rushing off and I was kind of wondering, you know, who the guy was. And so, uh, you know, after this happened a few more times, like one day I was like, you know, I, I gotta fi finally like stop this guy and, and, you know, get a portrait of him and, and talk to him. So I was, you know, walking there one day, you know, at the, around the time when he's usually there. And I was like, all right, I'm going to, I'm going to stop him. I'm going to talk to him. And I like get close and, uh, he just looks at me and he, he just goes, Hey, take my picture, man. <laughs> so I was like, I was like, sweet. Awesome. That's easy. <laughs> so I was like, Hey, how's it going, man? <laughs> um, yeah. And so, uh, it turns out like, you know, we started talking and this is kind of the thing I love about photography is, um, you just can have these really cool connections based on the camera, uh, that you just don't expect. And so he was just this really enthusiastic guy. He said he, you know, came out every day to, to feed the pigeons as his form of therapy. Um, speaking of therapy, uh, mm -hmm. and he just found it really relaxing. And then it like it turns out the guy uh, in the back of him is this is the Glow Hotel, which um, during the pandemic turned into a homeless shelter uh, or to house ho uh, homeless people. And um, mm -hmm. he had he had been living there, uh, but they recently kicked them all out, and uh, now they're like advertising eighty nine dollar a night hotel rooms. Um, but uh, so he said he had just been kicked out of the place, and he's been sleeping on you know friends' couches and stuff like that, um, and. Uh, yeah. So, I mean, that, that, that was the story. We talked for a while. He was super nice. I took his picture, um, you know, I helped him out a little bit. Uh, and, and he, you know, he gave me a bunch of pictures and then this one is kind of my favorite one. It just kind of shows his, you know, it's pretty simple. It's like, you know, he's not doing anything flashy, but he's, you know, he's yeah. got this kind of kind look on his face. Yes. And, very, very uh, natural. Very natural. Exactly. Look. Yeah. 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 So that, very natural. And, um, so the goal is now with this project is like, I hope he keeps coming because I plan to keep on photographing him and photographing the bird seed and having like the story of the gas station, but then the story of him, uh, you know, and, and just these shots throughout as well, and then end up with this portrait at the end. So it's kind of like a reveal. Uh, it, would, of this. it would be really neat if you uh, start seeing progress of like, where's he living next? And, or exactly. did, did he, did he, did he get a job? Is he now, is he now working somewhere? Is he now have a new place to live? You know, like, um, you know, like it would be cool to, to to see where, where you know, it goes for him. <laughs> you're, yeah, no, you're you're totally right. I mean, that that's part of you know. I really hope he keeps coming. You know, who knows yeah. if he if he will because he's not living there anymore. But I mean, he still has been. But yeah. Uh, yeah, no, I hope to like keep asking him questions, getting to know him better. Um, if I'm lucky enough uh, to do that, uh, yeah. So that's a it's a great point and something that yeah I'm hoping to do. And actually, um, a a book or a movie called Speedway. <laughs> yeah. which is about about a guy named mango would be like a fantastic <laughs> it would be. fantastic story you know De um, definitely um so. the crazy thing is that like two days after the shot i was like heading to a job and i was like on i think it was i was in like prince street subway station or something like that tra transferring over and like literally he like walked right by me and i was like mango <laughs> what's going on man <laughs> it was ran it was there was like that literally the most random uh encounter after like two days after in the middle <laughs> of the city yeah that's great. Mm. Um, so it's interesting because, you know, a lot of your work um, for anybody, you know, I, I, anybody listening, you're obviously going to be checking out this photo. So please browse James's other work. But a lot of your work is black and white and you happen this whole mm. series so far is color. Mm. So it's interesting. Why? Why did you choose color for this when um, a lot of the time you go with black and white? Is there a reason yeah. behind that? So it's actually, it's pretty interesting. So I'm, I'm right now I'm like half black and white and half color. Um, I tend to for like, uh, I tend to, when I shoot in Manhattan, I tend to shoot in black and white. And when I shoot in Brooklyn, I tend to shoot in color. 
Um, so it's very, inter- it's pretty interesting. Like, you know, I, I the thing is when I like the, pro- I'm doing a, a finishing a project in Manhattan called Lux City, which is, you know, about the changing nature of the city, the gentrification, the luxurification. Uh, and, you know, it really feels right it to, you know, the, it feels like this luxury look in black and white. It kind of gives it this kind of feeling. So that's, that's why I do all that work in black and white. And then when I'm in Brooklyn, I'm kind of photographing the complete opposite of that. You know, the real, more of the real New York, more, you know, stuff like that. And, um, and, and just the, the colors, uh, really feel more natural for that. So I feel like, so I think, I think in terms of projects and ideas and what I'm shooting and it's, it's more of an active switch. Uh, you know, when I, um, shoot in Manhattan, I shoot with, uh, the Fuji X100, turn the screen into black and white. Um, when I shoot in Brooklyn and I do a little more portraits and things like that, in addition to the candidates and environmentals, I shoot with the GFX, uh, the medium format camera. And I just, everything I shoot with that, I just know it's going to be in color. Um, so yeah, that's, that's the reason. And so when you're doing, uh, the, the, the meeting, so like in this, in, for this project, for example, mm. so this series, are you doing, um, like you would do street photos in Manhattan as far as, um, setting the lens on a fixed focal point mm. and then just going, or are you, you know, refocusing as you, as you do, you know, like, a, um, yeah. zone focus versus zone focusing, yeah. not, fo- you know, uh, what, what's your, what's your progress or uh, system for that? So I, I mean, I do, in general, I do zone focusing like sometimes, like half the time and half the time I don't. Um, this project is interesting because usually when I shoot in Brooklyn now, I always use the GFX, the medium format. But for this project, like half the time when I'm heading to my Manhattan jobs uh, and I head through this gas station, I have only the X100 with me. And so it's kind of, um, and and so uh, the, and this project is a mixture of, um, I'm trying to like, I'm trying to figure out how to intertwine these candid quick shots and i'm trying to make them look like i'm not putting too much effort into them like i'm trying to make them look like they're found moments and uh you know maybe feeling a little bit haphazard on purpose and then mixing them with the more formal gfx portraits were like 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 the portrait of this guy mm-hmm. um so when you look at the photo fo- when you look at the i'm going to share some 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 photos with this one of you know the bird seeds you know the bird stuff uh, even though there's there are a lot of other photographs in this project that i need to put together but um those photographs are all pretty much with the X100. They're all, I try to take them a little quicker and make them feel like not perfectly composed. And then they, they contrast with this portrait. Um, so yeah, this, this, this project's going to have a mixture of styles in them, and I'm trying to figure out how to kind of make it all work. Yeah. Yeah. You, you know, look in, so we're, we're talking about the one specific photo, but when you do look at it overall, you can tell that, mm. um, there's a mixture of cameras going on because of, um, you know, first of all, just the the color tonal quality is going to be different between cameras, but mm. um, but also just the fact that the ones of the birds definitely look more candid. It, you you could tell, you can tell. Yeah. Plus, you can see yourself in it. <laughs> in the exactly, shadow. I did that. Part, yeah, <laughs> that was Which, that was on purpose. Yeah, very um, very Lee Le, very Lee Freelander of you. <laughs> yeah, a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> um, um, but but the 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 uh, of the photo of Mango specifically the the bokeh in the back like how smooth it is mm-hmm. um he definitely pops off that background which is really good as well so and it is so colorful from top to bottom it's a very colorful photo which is really nice to see as well yeah and and that camera just renders colors uh, amazingly yeah. so it's it's interesting it's like tough to figure out how like you know to mix um when you're talking about different qualities of cameras uh, yeah, to mix it together. So it all works together. I mean, they're both Fuji. So it's like, you know, it's not as stark yeah. as two completely different cameras, but it's, it's just something that I'm, yeah, when I'm editing, I'm trying to get them to, to match up enough. So it feels consistent. Yeah. So it's, it's, it's funny. Cause now, nowadays, when you talk about Fuji cameras, uh, and we want to talk about, let's say what I'm going to ask you is your, what lens you were using, what the focal length was. It's mm-hmm. interesting because if you're talking, their typical mirrorless camera, you're talking a crop sensor, right? Yep. And now, now when you're talking the GFX, it's a medium format. So there's no <laughs> tradition. You're like, you're not using a traditional 35 millimeter full frame, um, size sensor. You're using a medium format sensor for this portrait. So yeah. well, well, if I, if you say you're using a 50 millimeter lens, it's not really 50 millimeters as far as mm. what a full frame photographer would understand, or even a cropped sensor photographer <laughs> would understand. Yeah. So, um, if you could tell us what lens you were using for this photo, mm. if you recall, and then what the focal length was that you were at in in um, 
<laughs> even if you can do the conversion between medium format and 35 so people can understand yeah. it more. Yeah, no, I can do that. Yeah, so it, the one that, uh, the lens that I use the most for this one is the 63 millimeter um, lens, uh, the GF 63 millimeter, and that is the equivalent of 50, uh, of a nice. 50. And then for the X100, you know, I, I, I use the telephoto attachment, the 33 millimeter attachment, which is also the equivalent of 50 millimeters. So I use 50 millimeter most often. And then I also use... Um, uh, my second, like the other lens I use is the pancake lens, which, uh, I forget the, the millimeter of it, but it's the equivalent of about a 40 millimeter on the GFX. Mm. Yeah. Great. Great. Mm. Um, so yeah, that, I mean, I, I love, I love this photograph when you shared with me, um, the story behind it is just mm. incredible. So I, I can't wait to follow along with, with where you go with it, uh, see more photos from it with and without mango in it <laughs> yeah <laughs> um so and, and you know i'd be curious to see if if other um people start joining in with mango over time as well because you yeah, never know you, right yeah well kind so, of yeah it'll be like uh like a west side story thing of people feeding the birds yeah <laughs> yeah um yeah. but you know you know just interesting about just about this gas station is that it's you think it's a place where people wouldn't say yes for photographs they're in a rush and stuff but right. literally like everybody I ask and I'm asking some people that I'm thinking are going to say no. And they're all like, yeah, sure. <laughs> Take my picture. And they're like, what's it for? And I'm like, oh yeah, you know, I'm just doing photos of this people in this crappy gas station. And they're like, oh cool. Okay. I get it. <laughs> um, it's, it's sh shockingly not what you'd expect uh, in this place. Uh, and it's really fun. Yeah. yeah. Um, for the record, I have a speedway around the corner for me as well. Uh, but, <laughs> but it's not a, it's on a highway, so I wouldn't go and take pictures there, but <laughs> in yeah. Brooklyn, in Brooklyn, it might be a little different. <laughs> Definitely. Yeah. We can compare yeah. speedways. We can do like the Jersey yeah. speedway. The, yeah. yeah. Uh, well, thanks James for uh, breaking down this photo with me. I can't wait for everybody to take a look at this. Uh, we're going to of course link to where um, everybody can see this photo in the show notes for this episode. Um, I have one more question for you. Hmm? Uh, I really have two, but what uh, should I have asked you, but didn't? Um, that's a good question. I don't, uh, I can't, let me think, what should you have asked me about the photo or just, um, in, in general, <laughs> in general. <laughs> yeah. Is, is your son, is your son sleeping? <laughs> uh, he's, you know, he usually lays in bed for about half an hour. Um, yeah. Uh, my son's, uh, he's, he's good. He's, uh, he's three and a half years old and he's just a ball of not, not, you know, not so nest right now. <laughs> um, yeah, I don't, uh, what what should you ask me? I don't, um, I don't know. I think you know. I can't think of a question to ask me, but I would say that you know, <laughs> for something specifically for like this project, you know, it's not. Um, I've been doing like portraits of people on the streets for a long time, mm -hmm. and you think you know, it's interesting because uh, the more you do it, the more comfortable you get with it, and the kind of easier you get talking with people. But yeah. it's like it never changes. It's just like you know, I'll get there. I'll like do it like regimented. I'll be like, I have to go. I have to go. And there's days where I just don't feel like it at all. And like, I don't feel like being social and like, you know, I know a lot of people do that as well, you know, and they just kind of like, you know, they turn around and go back or, um, but over the time I've gotten good at like just pushing myself, uh, when I really don't feel like it. And some of those, like today I did not feel like it whatsoever. And I got two great portraits of guys who I like, you know, I was like, uh, I was like, oh, you know, I saw a great guy and I was like, you know, damn it. Now I have to go talk to him. Cause like, I'll kill myself. You know, I'll beat myself up. <laughs> And it turned out great. So, uh, you know, I think that's probably something that I struggle with, um, even though I've been doing this for a long time and I know everyone else does as well. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, you you and I are both on that ambervert side of things, mm -hmm. like right in the middle of extroversion and introversion. Yeah. <laughs> and, you know, um, you have been doing street photography way longer than I have, and you've figured out how to talk to people randomly mm -hmm. and get the portrait. That's something that I, I just know myself I'm not comfortable doing. Um, mm -hmm. so it's, it's, uh, great that you keep doing it when I know it's a struggle. <laughs> yeah, definitely. So, <laughs> yeah. Some so. days it's okay, but yeah, no, it's, uh, yeah, it's, um, I don't know. Yeah. It's, it's like, I love doing it, but it doesn't feel comfortable. So it's exactly yeah. what you're talking about. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so where can our, our listeners connect with you online? Um, so they can go to my website. It's, uh, my last name is Mayor, M-A-H-E-R. So it's James Mayor photography.com. If you, if you just Google James Mayor, um, you can find me there. Um, and, uh, yeah, check out my site. Um, you know, I have, uh, if you're ever traveling to New York, uh, I have a free New York photographer's travel guide, which you can just go and find that on the site and, and download that. Um, yeah. And, uh, if you have any street photography questions, just send me an email anytime. 
Awesome. Thank you so much for listening to Photo Breakdown for the show notes. And to see the photo that James and I talked about today, visit photobreakdown.com.